How's it going guys? Oxbullet here and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to update to the iOS 7.0 Beta 2 that was released from Apple last night. There's been a lot of speculation going on around the internet saying that people who have not had their UDID registered that they cannot update to Beta 2 because it will break their device. Uh, I'm here to show you that that's a load of bullshit and you can update it without registering your device for any sort of money or getting a developer's account from Apple. So what you can do, first thing is go to the first link in the description and you will need to download your official iPhone, iPod, iPad uh, firmware. So you need to scroll down and go to this link here and then scroll down and find yours. So I will be using an iPhone 4S for this example. So if I scroll down uh, to iPhone 4S, there you go. The latest one is 6.1.3 so you need to download that for iPhone 5. The latest is 6.1.4 and uh, for iPhone 4 it is just obviously 6.1.3 also now you will need to make sure you know which one yours is CDMA for iPhone 4 or GSM for iPhone 4 if you don't know which one's which download them both and see which one works in iTunes when you're trying to do a restore because one will give you an error message uh, and one way in so obviously the one that doesn't will, is the correct one uh, depending on which version you have so once you've got that and you've got that downloaded somewhere where you need and uh, you know where it is, you need to go to this uh, website, uh, imzdl.com, I'll put a link in the description again, and you need to go to the link iOS betas from the top bar, and you need to find your corresponding one. So for me it's pretty simple, it's an iPhone 4S, iOS 7 beta 2. You can down directly download it or you can download it via a torrent if you've got a, a torrent client installed um, but obviously if, if most people haven't so you can just click on direct download. For iPhone 5 uh, obviously uh, GSM and CDMA ones are there and iPhone 4 G, uh, GSM and CDMA ones are also there. So once you've done that you will need to launch iTunes which I actually didn't do so it's kind of a shame and you will need to make sure that you can connect your iPhone, iPod, iPad, whatever to the actual computer via USB because if you don't do that then uh, you can't do it over the Wi-Fi or anything like that so make sure that you do that now unfortunately I haven't got any sort of camera that I can record what's going on on the iPhone side but I can show you what's going on on the obviously the iTunes side constantly so you'll just have to take my word for that unfortunately so if I connect the iPhone there you guys can probably hear that, I've just connected to the iPhone Obviously we'll just cancel that because I, I did some stuff with it last night. We go to the iPhone tab. As you can see, I am on 6.1.3. It's an iPhone uh, 4S, as you can see. And what you need to do is you need to click on Shift for Windows. Um, I can't remember what it is for Mac, so you'll have to unfortunately have to have a look at that for yourself. And click on Restore iPhone and it'll come up with this and then you need to locate your official iPhone 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 for iPhone 5 uh, device and you need to click on restore now you will need to do this it will not work if you don't do this so I recommend backing anything up before you do this just in case something goes wrong and you didn't back it up so back up your apps back up your you know your pro photos your contacts uh, and anything like that just to be on the safe side so that's the first step I will let this carry on and I will resume once it has done okay guys so once the iPhone has restored to the stock firmware that you downloaded on the iPhone all you have to do is just skip all the settings that come up from the default iPhone and then you can just get to the main iPhone uh, you get to the main iPhone screen just to make double sure that everything will work correctly that's what I do you might not have to do this but like I said I just do it for the uh, just to make sure agree to the terms and service things like that you don't use Siri just skip all these basic steps and then just get onto the main iPhone screen with all the apps and then once you've done that in iTunes as you can see you want to set it up as a new iPhone instead of backing to uh, backing it up from the backup sorry and then click on get started now this is obviously now restarted from a stock firmware everything like that and uh, what you need to do then is you need to click on shift again and click on check for updates now scroll down and then find your 7.0 firmware that you want to install on the iPhone, iPod, iPad, whatever and click on update. Now I'll let this run once again and we will resume once it has finished. 
Okay guys, so welcome back. As you can see, my iPhone is now running iOS 7.0. Obviously, I can't show you on the iPhone. I'm just going through all the setup now. But I will take a few screenshots and put them in the uh, video's description just to prove that it is running fluently uh, on iOS 7. And uh, if you do want to reinstall a, an official version for your iPhone, iPod, whatever, so for mine it would be 6.1.3, uh, you can't just click Restore iPhone because once you click Restore, it will come up with an error message because obviously there is isn't any uh, there isn't any uh, iOS found because you've got a more updated version so you will have to click on shift restore again and use your firmware the official firmware that you downloaded from the original website and then you can uh, reformat it then uh, reinstall the backup etc and get your iPhone back if you just wanted to use iOS 7 as a preview just to see how things are going to run uh, on your iPhone see if it's worth updating so that is it guys thanks for watching this video if you have any comments any questions or if you have any problems please comment and i will try and get back to you as quick as possible and once again thanks for watching